VR scenes. And those have been my bulk of my bread and butter this year. Wow, that's great. So that, I'm not allowed to speak. I'm not allowed to breathe. Sure. It's I'm, almost like a p- total POV style scene. Total POV. You're just, you're just the penis. Yeah, and most of the time my hands even can't come into yeah. place. It's like I'm doing everything just you to are like a lay there. You're a stick. You're yeah. a cock shoveler. And that's just it. I know my role. I'm okay with it. Yeah, but I can see <laughs> so, that to get involved with something where there's wardrobe and there's some dialogue and there's a lot more interaction as well. Yeah. Those sets can be fun to hang around on. Right. If you have the right cast of characters. If you have the right cast of characters and, and it's a different like mindset. So it, it challenges a different part of my brain and I right. get to play that where like the VR sets are a different challenge in the sense it's like, I can't use my hands. I you can't, can't do this. You can't connect with the girls. So and, you have to really mentally rely on. Yeah. How do you get into that place of intimacy when you know you can't touch her? Right. That's hard, right? It's a, it's a little challenge. And fortunately, I think you were talking about it's like in a lot of the producers, not the producers, a lot of the like writers that put up, create these scenes. It's like, I understand what you want to create, but what you don't understand is the actual equipment. So that's why the VR scene is like one scene here, dry cut, because you've got 34 sure. parts that have to be moved even for. It's almost like the old school days of shooting on film. Yeah. Because you have to reset up. You have to reset everything. Total. Yeah. And it's like, I mean, they have to reset if I go from doggy to mish. It's very specific. Yeah. Because everything has to be perfect. But it's this new world. Yeah. And it's amazing. My biggest rule is half. Like whatever comes on the plate, like I can go out and I can get a burger and fries and I can, like I lost a hundred pounds working and living off of Red Robin. Oh, I was a big guy 15 oh. years ago. Were you like Monica from Friends growing up? I had Were bigger Were you like boots. Monica? Oh my God, do you have photos of this? I do. Do you ever post them? Every now and then. It's great for people to see yeah. a natural transformation. How long did it take you to lose? You just shredded a porno, girl. I, How long did yeah. it take you to lose 100 pounds? No, I, um, my goal was to go from 240 to 185 in a year. So it would have been about six pounds a month. That's realistic. Did you that set was, that goal yourself? I did myself. How old were you? Uh, 25. That was a lot of fucking dif- discipline yeah. for a 25-year-old. Yeah. Well, I'd, at the time, I was running one of the busiest camps in the world and a boat captain. Uh, so I was working in an office and sitting down. So I was like, I'm just going to go to the gym. I'm going to run for 20 minutes. I'm going to lift. Like no, I won't be in the gym for more than an hour and a half. Yeah, you don't have to I be. just want to do that. And it was like, I'm going to walk. I'm going to try and not eat like condiments. Like I don't want to see visible grease, you know visible what? fat. I got, I eliminated com- condiments from my life like probably 10 years ago. Like there's nothing on the side shelves of my fridge except drinks. Right. Um, because I don't need mayo, ketchup, mustard because all that stuff is what really adds up. Like right. I don't mind eating an egg burrito once in a while as long as I don't put a ton of ketchup on it. Right. Years ago, I put so much ketchup on it, I never realized I was adding 300 calories. <laughs> and it's the sugar that I was trying to eliminate. It's the sugar, yeah. And it, like that helped so much. But it was, it was just being on my feet and like, like doing that and I was working Red Robin in between so it was like that was the only place I had to eat food and I ended up dropping it in six months wow and I kept going so for you you can't game plan of what you love about the girl if she's gonna change 90% of the time I mean there's that and then there's and I I have actually used you as the example because as we've talked about and I've you know embarrassingly said probably more times than I should have I was like you remember first porn crush like you were my first like like the first name in the industry i actually remembered so when i got in i always forget this (laughs) now that we're alone i'm gonna remember it (laughs) so it was like going in that first time when it was like you're working with lisa animar and i was like what no oh so it was just total like they got almost psyched out too much because the game plan was just like oh my god this is actually gonna happen i can't believe and you knew i wasn't gonna cancel no no yeah no i knew you, you were knew gonna cancel I and i was just cancel. like i was like wait are you guys fucking with me because i don't think i'm new i'm not supposed oh, to be wow. working with someone like that this is the life i chose, chose. chose. chose.